Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this Dead Carpet Energy Drink Review since 1126 AM, and it's Sunday, February 11th, 2024. Later tonight's the Super Bowl, and Usher is performing, so oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. But um, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the last one of these, um, well actually I have one more after this one, but um, I'm going to be reviewing another one of these E-Boost Super Fuel Energy Drinks. I got this from a special, like, ad thing on their Instagram. It was like, um... You get a four-pack variety pack for free. You just had to pay the shipping, so it was like seven dollars. Um, so basically, like a dollar something a can. So it's pretty cheap. But they also sell these drinks at like um, CVS and Sprouts and some other places. They're probably around like three dollars, maybe a can there though. Um, so I got a little bit of a better deal. But um, anyway, this one sounds like it might be pretty good. We shall see. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the sparkling blue raspberry. E-Boost Super Fuel Energy Drink. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that can. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And it's like raining today and it's like cold. So I'm wearing my jacket right now, but um, anyway. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Cool looking can. I like the blue and the pinkish purplish color, color combination. Looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah. And there's a silver top, the silver tab. Bombs of the Best Buy Nathan Production Code. Best by March 22nd, 2025, so it's still fresh for a while. Around the top it says alertness, energy, and defense, 10 vitamins and minerals. As they're all seeing eye logo, an e-boost with an arrow, super fuel, natural energy and vitamins, sparkling blue raspberry, 10 calories per can, 1 gram sugar from juice and honey, 10 vitamins and minerals, 110 milligrams caffeine per can, 11.5 fluid ounces, 340 milliliters energy drink. And um, this one has the swirly polka dot pattern. The last one I reviewed the ginger lime didn't have it, but the first one I did had it. The orange mango one, also the one I'm reviewing my next review, also has it. So I'm guessing the um, ginger lime one is like an older can, maybe. And these might be the newer cans, I'm not really for sure. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit scraped up, but not too badly though. Um, but still in pretty good condition now. Um, but yeah, anyway. Your kick in a can, 110 milligrams caffeine, naturally sourced from green coffee, seed, and green tea. 10 vitamins and minerals, including vitamin C, DB3, B6, B12, folate, and zinc. 3 nootropics, L-tyrosine, natural caffeine, and L-theanine. Electrolytes and antioxidants, selenium, potassium, zinc, and vitamin C. When you need it most, work and study, afternoon spark, pre-workout, travel and jet lag, and healthy mixer. Has the AMP logo, some other code in the SKU. Not recommended for children, people sensitive to caffeine, pregnant women or women who are nursing. I think I forgot to show off the warning when I showed off the can up close like earlier today when I was filming it. I'm um, right after I took my brother to work, but I'm um, anyway. Contains less than 1% juice. Nutrition packs one term per container. Strong says 11.5 fluid ounces, 340 milliliters. Um, we're starting calories 10, total fat 0 grams, 0%. Sodium 0 milligrams, 0%. Carbohydrates 3 grams, 1%. Total sugars 1 gram, includes 1 gram added sugars, 2%. Protein 0 grams. Vitamin D 20 micrograms, 100%. Potassium 290 milligrams, 6%. Vitamin C, 90 milligrams, 100%, and lysine, 20 milligrams, 130%. Vitamin B6, 1.7 milligrams, 100%. Folate, 400 micrograms, DFE, 100%. Vitamin B12, 15 micrograms, 630%. Zinc, 11 milligrams, 100%. Selenium, 7 micrograms, 15%. Chromium, 35 micrograms, 100%. So yeah, it's high in B vitamins and stuff, but it only has 110 milligrams caffeine. So it'll still give you a pretty good boost, though. But yeah, other ingredients, carbonate water, honey. Citric acid, potassium citrate, l tyrosine malic acid, natural flavor, fruit and vegetable juice for color, azorbic acid, stevial glycosides, caffeine 110 milligrams from green coffee seeds and green tea leaf extract, gum acacias, uh, zinc and citrate, glycerol, ester, wood rosin, niacinamide, chilocalciferol, pyridoxine hydrochloride, l-theanine, chromium polynicotinate, folic acid, cyanocopalumin, sodium selenate, artificial flavor, synthetic color, sweetener, keto friendly, gluten free, soy free, eboost.com, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter logos. Has a recycling logo, manufactured for Spring Street Beverages, Woodbury, New York, 11797. Call this phone number is 800 832 3775. So, yeah, that's pretty much the entire can, so I'll let you see it real quick. Not a whole lot of stuff on it. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. All these drinks have like honey in them, so um, it might make it taste a little weird, but we shall see though. a swirly polka dot pattern. Hopefully this one will be better than the last one I reviewed. The ginger lime one I didn't really like that one. But um this one might be better though. 
I guess it was like a graph thing a pill, like a light bulb, and like a water droplet thing. Another code in this KU. Warning. Not from the nutrition facts side. Other ingredients. The rest of the can. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can anyway. And I'm gonna show off the can up closer quick, so hold on a minute. The sparkling blue raspberry loose super fuel. Like the color combination with the pinkish color and the blue. Looks pretty cool. It's a spirally polka dot background pattern. All seeing eye logo. And 10 milligrams caffeine. Silver top, silver tab. It's best by date in production code. March 22nd, 2025, it looks like. Yeah. But then that way it looks like 2023, but going over it's a five though. We'll focus on the They're kicking a can. Nootropics and electrolytes. Other code in the SKU, EMP logo. Means less than 1% juice. There's nutrition facts. Other ingredients. Keto friendly, gluten free, soy free. I think it's pretty much the entire can and anyway, now I'm gonna finish my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, I shut off the can up close and I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Open it, taste it, and give my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, I opened it and the color is like a um like a hot pinkish, like um purplish color. Uh, almost just spilt it on me. Got a little bit. Reminds me a little bit of like um how like a bubblegum medicine when I was a little kid. Reminded like reminds me of that a little bit. It's like a hot pinkish color, but also a little bit like purplish though. Doesn't look too carbonated, but I'm anyway. The scent. Whoa, whoa, well, 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 whoa. This is the first time I had like a, um, like a earthy type of blue raspberry scented drink. Yeah, definitely like a healthy sort of scent. Um, definitely has a blue raspberry scent, but, um, definitely does not smell like a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher or like, um, like a blue raspberry Warheads drink or something. It's like way different. Yeah, it's definitely more of like a healthy type of raspberry scent. It reminds me a little bit of like, um, a little bit like the, um, yeah, the blueberry pomegranate, like highball energy drink, or like, um, maybe like the Sambazon energy drink. That one's more like an acai type of drink though, but, um, this sort of smells similar to that though. Um, yep, definitely like a healthy sort of berry scent. Definitely a little bit earthy. And yep, definitely a strong scent. Thought this would be like a lighter blue raspberry, but um, um, it's definitely like a stronger type of blue raspberry. Um, but not like a candy blue raspberry though. It's definitely more like a, I guess more like a natural blue raspberry, but um, so it smells really strong though. But um, anyway, I'm not gonna try it, so here goes. And yep, 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 yep. Tastes like how it smells. Definitely really tart. 
definitely bitter, maybe a little sour. But yep, it's a really strong, pungent, like a healthy sort of blue raspberry taste. It definitely actually does taste a little bit like a sigh. Maybe a little bit like um pomegranate too, but um it's definitely it does not taste like a blue raspberry jolly rancher, that's for sure. Um it's definitely like a way stronger, like um more tart sour taste, but um still okay though, it's not bad, but um definitely have better blue raspberry drinks than this though. But for a healthy type of drink, I guess it's okay. It's not totally bad, but um yeah, definitely could be way sweeter, and I definitely wish it was more like a candy type of blue raspberry taste than um like an earthy type of blue raspberry, but um it's still okay though. I definitely like this one better than the ginger lime one I had yesterday, but um still think so far I like the orange mango one of these best though, but um this is not bad though, but um yeah, it could be better though. Definitely, definitely tart. Yeah, and definitely also a little bit sour. It's like a sour blue raspberry, a teeny bit. But, um, not too sour, though. But, um, definitely really tart, though. This one's, like, probably the most tart blue raspberry drink I had. See you know what I mean? Yeah, it's interesting. I like the colors of the can, though, and um, I like the can design. I know it's okay price, I guess. Probably, like, around three something at CVS or Sprouts or, like, some other grocery stores. I might be able to find it out, but, um... I got it from like a deal thing on their Instagram, so I got it a little bit cheaper, but um, um energy wise though, definitely get pretty lit, high in the B vitamins, has 110 milligrams caffeine though, so I'd still say energy wise, um, lasts about two and a half hours, about three and a half hours of energy, we work a team bit more, so oh yeah, boys, it'll still definitely get lit, so oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, has the nootropics in it too, so it's gonna help you, you know, with more of your focus and stuff and alertness. Um, yeah, it's um, pretty smooth, it's not too carbonated, so you can probably chug it if you want to. Or do you want to drink like the whole can, like down to here? But, um, yeah, energy wise, it works pretty good. The taste, definitely wish it was sweeter and maybe less tart. But, um, it's not bad though. Definitely more, definitely reminds me more of a sigh though than blue raspberry. Um, it's still not bad though, but, um, yeah, it could be better though. But for a healthy type of drink, I guess it's okay though. Um, but yeah, definitely try if you can find it. Um, you might like it, but, um, yeah, I don't really like it too much, but, um, I still think the orange mango one of these is best so far, but, um, this one's not bad, but, um, could be better. You gotta probably give the Sparkling Blue Raspberry E-Boost Super Fuel Energy Drink. You know what, boys, you know what, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give an 8 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's still a little lit, so, oh yeah, it's still lit, so, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna give an 8 out of 10, oh yeah. Has a cool, colorful can design, energy-wise, it works really good. It's okay priced, but, yeah, the taste, though, definitely, yeah. A little bit too tart, but um, definitely wish it was sweeter and more like a candy type blue raspberry. But um, for like a healthier type of drink, I still think it's okay though. But um, yeah, it could be better though. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten. And when my next review is gonna be the last flavor of these drinks that I got to review, it's the sparkling strawberry lemonade one. So do for that review. So my current review, still more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out and bye.